Welcome to Steamworks. I'm Tim. This is Tim's Top Tool Tips. I'm going to use this piece of 1 8 thick gauge plate to make a half round profile cutter. The profile will be a 1 16th of an inch in diameter and I'm going to chamfer the corners so that I can get a nice neat cut. Using a shot made gauge, the piece is set in the mill vise at a 5 degree angle. This will give a front cutting relief of 5 degrees. The end is milled square to give me a flat face to start working from. This cutter sounds a little bit blunt. I zero each axis so that I can get the hole in the centre and have an accurate start point for me to machine from. The centre of the hole is exactly 100 thou from the edge of the cutter. Cutting fluid is used to get a clean profile from the drill. I'm taking it nice and steady so I don't get any uh, hard spots caused by overheating. I can now machine away exactly 100 thou from the edge and that will take me to the centre of the hole that I've just drilled. The cutter doesn't sound too sharp so I'm just dropping to a fresh edge. This is the final cut. Another homemade gauge is used to cut the 45 degree chamfers. This is one of those I could do with three hands operations. The 
each side is milled to the same angle. The size is stamped on prior to hardening. You can just make out a little burr on the edge of the hole. This will snap off after hardening. I've machined another profile on the other end of the tool. For heat treating, the tool is brought evenly to a cherry red colour. It's quite difficult to gauge, but cherry red is somewhere in between dull red and bright red. The key is to try and keep the heat even. Looks like I've got a leaky seal on the burner. It's starting to colour up now, so it's important to keep the heat even along the line. This is around about dull red. And we're getting to about cherry red now. I drop the tool into the oil on its edge to stop bowing. There are a number of ways to stop oxidisation during heat treatment. On this occasion I've not bothered. I just polish it off on some fine wet and dry paper using oil as a lubricant. It takes a little effort, but it's not long before you get a good finish. Tempering makes the tool less brittle. Colour is used to judge the temperature of the steel. I'm after a dark or medium straw. This should give me a good cutting tool, but it needs to be a bit more flexible as it's only one eighth of an inch thick. It's heated gently and again trying to play the flame evenly along the length. Here I've just managed to catch it in the middle. That's not a bad thing, I can see that the temperature of the steel is nearly where I want it to be. So I've moved the flame further away and be more gentle. Gentle heat is required as the colour chain sneaks up on you. We're very close, in fact, there it goes. Medium straw, just what we're after. Quick polish, and as you can see, that little burr has disappeared. So does it cut, does it do what we actually want it to do? Well, it takes a little bit of lubrication oil, but yeah, this is looking good. I'm taking it steady, it's only a thin cutter. Final bit, job done.
That's spot on. <laughs>